Hydropeptide Face, Neck, and Décolleté Massage Technique The Hydropeptide Face, Neck, and Décolleté Massage provides healthy relaxation as well as stimulation of key muscles related to facial tone and firmness. This stimulation can help improve healthy circulation that may diminish as we age, encouraging oxygenation and blood flow, giving skin a more vibrant, youthful appearance. You will need Hydropeptide Soothing Balm and a Hydropeptide Serum of choice. Dispense approximately 1 quarter teaspoon of Hydropeptide Soothing Balm into hand and mix with approximately 1 eighth teaspoon serum of choice. Trapezius to occipital pull and breathing. Beginning with hands at center of décolleté, glide hands outward around shoulders and up to occipital bone. Pull firmly on occipital bone for 3 seconds. Ask client to inhale as you glide your hands and exhale as you pull. Repeat three times. Lower trapezius pull. Ask client to take one more deep breath as you work both hands, palms up, under their back on either side of their spine. Slowly pull hands out toward client's head while lifting fingertips slightly to pull the trapezius muscle. Upper trapezius press. Rotate hands so that palms are facing client's feet and fingers are pointing up. Firmly press on upper trapezius muscle located between the neck and outer shoulder. Sternocleidomastoid stretch. Bring both hands back to cradle client's head. Glide one hand down client's neck and gently turn head in opposite direction using other hand. Use first hand to stretch sternocleidomastoid muscle by pulling downward and outward on shoulder while applying gentle pressure. Sternocleidomastoid effleurage. Beginning with hand cradling head, pull hand from under head and begin effleurage from shoulder to neck on exposed side. Repeat for a total of six passes, alternating your hands. Bring both hands back to center, cradling head, and repeat sternocleidomastoid stretch and effleurage on other side. Head pull. Pull gently on head and release. Décolleté waves. Move both hands to center of décolleté. Glide both hands to left shoulder. Using gentle pressure, glide right hand across décolleté in a wave motion. Bring left hand to right shoulder and glide across décolleté in a wave motion. Bring hands back to center of décolleté. Décolleté knuckling. With hands in loose fists, perform knuckling movements outward toward shoulders, then back inward to center of décolleté. Décolleté collarbone pull. Beginning at center of décolleté, just below the collarbone, use curved middle and forefingers to pull outward toward shoulders following the line of the collarbone. Use firm pressure. Décolleté percussion. Glide right hand to meet left hand on left shoulder and perform vigorous percussion to right side of décolleté and back to left side. Neck percussion. Move percussion up to left side of neck and move across to right side and back to left. Mandible percussion. Move percussion up to left side of mandible and move across to right side and back to left. Zygomaticus knuckling and thumb pressure. Glide hands to rest on outer jaw. With hands in loose fists, perform inward and upward knuckling circles below zygomaticus. With hands in same position, use thumbs to perform large inward upward circles on zygomaticus. Mandible petrissage. 
glide hands back to chin and perform pinching and lifting petrissage movements from chin to left ear, across to right ear, and back to chin. Mandible draining. Using thumbs and middle or index fingers, perform draining movements on both sides simultaneously. Bring one hand back to chin at a time to maintain contact. Repeat three times. T Lissage. Use left hand to glide from chin to ear, then follow with right hand gliding from middle of jawline to temple. Repeat for a total of seven strokes. Finish with chin to ear stroke, then perform chin to ear stroke using right hand on right side. Follow with left hand gliding from middle of jawline to temple. Repeat for a total of seven strokes. Encompassing. Glide both hands to chin and transition into encompassing. Repeat three times and return hands to chin. Sternocleidomastoid figure eights. Glide hands down to neck and perform three horizontal figure eights simultaneously on either side of neck on sternocleidomastoid muscle. Mandible figure eights. Move hands up and perform three horizontal figure eights on mandible. Zygomaticus figure eights. Move hands up and perform three horizontal figure eights on underside of zygomaticus. Temple figure eights. Move hands up and perform three horizontal figure eights on temples. Forehead figure eights. Move hands up to meet at left side of forehead and glide middle and ring fingers from both hands together in unison to perform three large figure eights on forehead. Forehead friction. Using tips of curved fingers, perform friction on forehead from left side to right and back again. Forehead C's. Using middle fingers, perform alternating C's on forehead from left side to right and back again. Forehead effleurage. Perform effleurage across forehead from left side to right and back again. Zygomaticus and forehead pressure. Staying at center of forehead, clasp fingers and apply downward and outward pressure on forehead while gliding past temples down to cheeks. Curve fingers under zygomaticus and apply pressure. Follow with forehead pressure using palms. Rotate hands to clasp fingers together and pull outward applying pressure on forehead to temples. Glide to cheeks and repeat cheek forehead pressure alternation for a total of three passes. Forehead draining. Bring thumbs together resting flat on center of forehead with tips of thumbs near brows and base of thumbs near hairline. Using pressure along the length of the thumb, perform draining motions moving from center of forehead out to temples. Bring thumbs back to center one hand at a time to maintain contact. Repeat for a total of three passes. Upper zygomaticus draining. With palms resting gently on forehead, use middle or ring fingers to perform outward draining motions between lower orbital bone and upper zygomaticus. Bring fingers back to center one at a time to maintain contact. Repeat for a total of three passes. Lower zygomaticus draining. With palms resting gently on forehead, use middle or ring fingers to perform outward draining motions on the lower zygomaticus. Bring fingers back to center one hand at a time to maintain contact. Repeat for a total of three passes. Orbital circles. 
Fingers will finish near temples. Pause momentarily and transition into orbital circles, moving from temple, under orbital area, up through bridge of nose, and over brow in the direction of hair growth. Repeat for a total of three passes. Spectacle transition. Move right ring finger under orbital area, over bridge of nose, and over left brow to transition so that the ring fingers from both hands are resting on left temple together. Lower orbital C's. Perform small C's from temple, under lower orbital area, to bridge of nose, and glide back to temple. Repeat for a total of three passes. Perform spectacle transition with both ring fingers to reach right temple. Repeat lower orbital C's for a total of three passes. Finish by using spectacle transition to bring left ring fingers back to left temple. Lower orbital tapotement. Use light tapping pressure to perform tapotement on lower orbital area. Brow bone pinching. Move fingers up bridge of nose to simultaneously perform three pinches on brows, beginning at inner brow, moving to mid brow, and finishing at outer brow. Glide fingers from outer brow, under eye, up bridge of nose, and back to inner brow. Repeat for a total of three passes. Upper orbital hollow pull. Glide fingers around eyes and perform firm pull on upper orbital hollow. Glide fingers around eyes and back to hollow. Repeat for a total of three passes. Temple press. Glide fingers to temples and press gently for one to three seconds. Encompassing. Glide to chin and perform encompassing three times, ending at chin. Hand clasp chin pull. Glide hands to chin, clasp hands momentarily, and pull outward and upward to ears. Ear friction. Perform small circles moving from ear lobe to upper ear one to three times. Anti-aging pressure points. Glide fingers to chin and perform anti-aging pressure points. Repeat for a total of three passes. Customized pressure points. Perform customized pressure points from the following choices based on the needs of your guest. Repeat for a total of three passes. Relaxing. Energizing. Encompassing. Glide to chin and perform encompassing three times, ending at chin.
Trapezius to occipital pull and breathing. Beginning with hands at center of decollete, glide hands outward around shoulders and up to occipital bone. Pull firmly on occipital bone for three seconds. Ask client to inhale as you glide your hands and to exhale as you pull. Repeat three times. Now let's watch it in real time. 